Okay, now that we're on the road, um, so if you're wanting to be able to save cash when you're traveling around the Philippines, I suggest... about a dollar cost so that's 50 pesos it costs only about a dollar um, whereas if you were to withdraw cash from the ATMs here the Philippine ATMs you'll be charged about 300 pesos or I think even 500 pesos so look into WISE and GCash because you save so much if you are a foreigner particularly uh, from let's say the States or for, from Europe that's the cheapest way to be able to spend your cash or to be able to withdraw cash from your bank account. So your bank account wise, Gcash, and then the establishment wherever you want to spend. But yeah, Jollibee's right next to me. There's Mickey D's. I'm not promoting it at all. And BPI is one of our ATMs where you can withdraw cash. Um, but yeah, again, if you can go contactless, you'll be able to save so much cash instead of yeah, having to withdraw. It's pretty bustling right now. There's so many trikes on my left side and as I've mentioned for some reason they always charge 100 bucks to go anywhere but straight ahead look at all the people here I don't really know what's going on it's called the original Paengs I don't even fancy meat as much but if you are craving for chicken or pork yeah I guess head over to the original Pangs <laughs> so, obviously if you're traveling for a long time you can't always eat out every night right not unless you can but you'll find these places like to my right they are serving local Filipino food um, it's called Ihao Ihao where they basically grill stuff on sticks so they're grilling pork or hot dog or isao or even betamax so a lot of filipino dishes that you can get in the ihao ihao so it just depends where you're getting it in shergao is so expensive i think it's around it's around 50 pesos per stick um in these places sometimes they'll charge you maybe 10 pesos or 20 pesos okay whoop. When you're crossing the roads in the Philippines, outside BGC and possibly Makati, you are not the priority. The cars are the priority. So you always have to yeah, make sure to look left and right because it's just a different way of how pedestrians work here. But again, um, wow, I can really smell the fresh fruit and veg. This is such a great place to to get your fruits. Flappy, let's ask how much the watermelon is. Uh, yeah, it's out of curiosity. Yeah, we'll ask, but get on the way back. Yeah, okay. I don't really want to carry. And what time they close? Oh my gosh, look, so this is papaya over here and they've taken off the, I don't know why they took off the, the front part of the pineapple. Yeah, oh my, and it's, it smells so sweet, I can actually smell it already. Watermelon, ooh, avocado. Maybe they actually have avocado. <laughs> um, onions and garlic. So 46. Uh, 
Magkano yung watermelon? Watermelon? Oo. Uh -oh. Ron, bila ko na yung watermelon. Watermelon? 45. 45. Mga magkani isang watermelon. 45 pesos per kilo. I don't know how much kilo, how many kilos one weighs. Yeah. You wanna try Couple it? Kilos, yeah. I'll try to try it. 45, ma'am. 45. Pwede pang timbang. Timbang is way. Okay, okay. Thank you. Ano ang skin nagsasara? Okay, we're gonna weigh it and see. Timbang na lang ito yung way. 45, 45. Very, very, very busy here. Lots of customers. But I'll show you the other veg. Ginger, obviously. Kamatis or tomatoes. Um, calamansi, which is uh, Philippine lemon. It's so sour. I love these. If you like tequila shots, go get some calamansi. Um, cucumber. I think that's gabi. Sayote. Eggplant or aubergine. I think that's pechay. So yeah, lots and lots of delicious vegetables here. Oh, check it out. So I discovered another place. It looks so busy. Let's check this out. It looks so busy. Look at all the people here, lots of travelers as well. And um, yeah, so this is where they go grilling or ihao ihao. I don't even know if I can get inside, but I'll just have a quick look. If we do the one in Kuting, sorry, maybe. <laughs> so it looks like they're all covered, covered Tupperwares. <laughs> Interesting stuff. They have like hot fish. I know. Yeah, I think they cover it so that the flies don't go to it. Um, and yeah, I think they even have squid. Let's have a look. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. This is like actually the first karindriya, that's what we called it. Where they actually cover it so that there's no flies. Hello, poopy. Okay. Oh, that's the spot. Okay, we're gonna cross. Check the menu, but it looks very nice from afar. Okay. Hi. So it's kind of swanky. Their menus are on iPads. Oh, wow, that's steak. Ham, ham leg. Oh, ham leg. Quesadilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some like snacky. Oh, like pika pika uh, stuff. Tuna, tuna tartar, looks right. Oh my gosh. Oh, very, very Ooh, yeah, tuna tartar. So yeah, very, very nice. Um, I think it's meant to be paired with some alcoholic drink just because, yeah, there's oysters, there's tuna tartar. Oh, there's some, um, what do you call this? Uh, charcoal. Yeah, charcoal burger. That's quite big. with truffle sauce, it, it says. So very, very fancy stuff. And even the way it's presented with a cage. But yeah, so you get the idea more or less of what the menu is like. And this is the eating area. Lovey, look at the serving of the guys in my life. It's actually a lot. 